Today's video is sponsored by Rei Boots. Now, Rei Boot can help you troubleshoot and fix over 150 iOS, iPadOS, and even TVOS issues. Things like stuck on an Apple logo, a constant boot loop, recovery mode, and so much more with just a few simple clicks. Now, Rei Boot can also help you upgrade to iOS 17 or even downgrade from iOS 17 back to iOS 16 without losing any of your data. So make sure you check out Rei Boot for any of your beta issues. Of course, links will be in the description and down below. Okay, so Apple's event has just concluded. I want to give you guys a super quick recap of the event, everything that Apple announced. If you want to watch the entire keynote, links of course will be in the description down below. So the first thing Apple announced was the new Apple Watch Series 9 and the Apple Watch Ultra second generation. Now there's a few things to note here. The new Apple Watch Series 9 has a brand new processor that improved the performance on the new Apple Watch Series 9. It is the S9 chip. Now this chip enables the Apple Watch to have a new gesture based feature on your Apple Watch where you can pinch your fingers together to answer phone calls and perform other tasks just simply by pinching your fingers together very similar to what we see with Vision Pro and this is all thanks to the new S9 chip on the Apple Watch Series 9. Now there's also a new ultra wideband second generation which will enable and improve the precision finding on the Apple Watch as well and improve location services and on the display. I was quite surprised to learn that the Apple Watch Series 9 has 2,000 nits of brightness and there's a new pink color which I like to call a new Barbie pink available for the Apple Watch and Apple is very proud of Apple Watch being their first ever carbon neutral device on their lineup and of course we can expect more of this in terms of of the Apple Watch and other products. Now the Apple Watch Ultra second generation was also announced by Apple today. Basically the same design here but with improved internals, the S9 processor, the new gesture based features. We also see improvements to the GPS. The new ultra wideband second generation is on board here as well. And the peak brightness on the display is up to 3000 nits. That's kind of insane because the Apple Watch Ultra was already a great display with additional brightness. You can't really go wrong with the new Apple Watch Ultra second generation. There isn't any black variant as the rumors indicated. I was a bit bummed out about that But of course the Apple Watch Ultra is also a carbon neutral product in Apple's lineup So improvements across the board with the Apple Watch Series 9 and the Apple Watch Ultra this year Now pre-orders for the Apple Watch starts today and they'll be available in store as of September 22nd you can walk in and buy a brand new Apple Watch Series 9 or an Apple Watch Ultra second generation Now of course Apple also unveiled today and announced the brand new iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 15 Pro lineup. Now I want to talk about the iPhone 15 first because there's some changes here that are important. Number one, all base model iPhone 15 now get dynamic island. So no longer will there be a notch on an iPhone from here on out. So dynamic island is on board for the iPhone 15. We get the rumored USB-C port which is now available on the iPhone 15. Five new colors, black, blue, green, yellow, and pink available on the iPhone 15. Of course, last year's Pro model had the Apple A16 processor. It is now on the iPhone 15 base model, so improvements there in terms of processor as well. The rumored 48 megapixel camera for better photography. Of course, we have the new ultra wideband second generation ship inside here as well for better precision finding and better location services and a new roadside assistant for satellite. So basically, the iPhone 15 has now gotten the Pro features from last year now in a cheaper, more affordable package, the iPhone 15. And of course, the new New iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max were also announced and I have to say I'm quite impressed with some of the new features on the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. Of course USB-C is here with USB-C 3 support for faster speeds and data transfers. This is only available for the iPhone 15 Pro. Of course the new action button, the rumored action button is officially here only available on the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. This button can be programmed to various actions, launch the camera, do not disturb, the translate application. It can of course be your mute switch if you wanted to as well. There's also improvements in terms of performance here as well. For the first time, the Apple A17 Pro chip is now available for the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. One of the features that stood out to me the most was the actual spatial or 3D video capturing available on the Pro models where you can later watch it on a Vision Pro when Apple launches that new product. And of course, major improvements in the 
and cameras here, which I'll be testing once this new product is available. Now you can pre-order these new iPhones on September the 15th, and they will be available in stores for purchase on September the 22nd. So this Friday, September the 15th, pre-orders. Next Friday, the 22nd, official launch of the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro. So now I want to go ahead and talk about the software side of things because Apple today released new RC for iOS 17. And of course, this software is now ready for the general public. Now, typically Apple releases an RC, sometimes a second RC, which is the release candidate before the final release. By the way, we have the official release date for iOS 17. We'll talk about that here in just a few seconds. Now, the download is anywhere from 6 to 7 gigabytes of a download and now as I always say this is simply overriding the entire operating system you're not going to lose six to seven gigs from your iPhone it is only overriding the OS here if we go into general and about we see that the current RC is 21A329 that's going to be RC1 again if Apple does release a second RC which they do sometimes it would be more towards the 14th or the 15th of September before the official release of iOS 17. Now aside from iOS 17 RC, Apple also released iPadOS 17 RC, macOS 14 RC was also released for the Mac, we also have watchOS 10 RC, and of course tvOS 17 RC or release candidate, these are all available for registered developers as of right now and public beta testers alike. Now for those of you who are looking for new wallpapers on your iPhones, Apple did not add any new wallpapers, I want to go ahead and plug into my wallpaper pack if you guys want to go check it out, shameless plug here, I got a new Wayfair wallpaper collection, if you guys want to download it for yourself, it is available for $3.99 if you want to go ahead and grab it, it is available in the description down below of course, anything Thing. I do get any revenue from this goes directly to the channel to continue making these videos for you guys There's some great selection of wallpapers here that look really good with the new iPhone 15 colors So if you guys want to go ahead and support the channel that'll be linked in the description down below Now Apple also released additional software for devices running iOS 16 iOS 16.7 RC was released today iPad OS 16.7 RC for the Mac Mac OS 12.7 and Mac OS 13.6 RC was released for the Mac today and even older devices devices that only support iOS 15 Apple also released new software yesterday iOS 15.7.9 to patch security issues within the software Apple also released iPad OS 15.7.9 and Mac OS 12.6.9 on the iPhones, iPads, and Macs for older devices that do not support iOS 16 or 17. So Apple continues to patch security issues within the operating system. Now, one thing that's new here within the latest RC, it will be the ringtones. The ringtones have been changed here, and I'm going to try to be quiet here so you guys can hear these new ringtones here. So let's go ahead and hear all new ringtones available here. And then you have your classic ringtones, which are available here in iOS 17 RC as well. So I'll continue digging around the software. Again, iOS 17 RC is available as of right now. RC2 may be available later during the week on the 14th or the 15th of September. And the official release for iOS 17, iPadOS 17, watchOS 10, tvOS 17, and macOS 14 will be on September the 18th. This is the day when Apple will be releasing this software update to everyone 
everyone around the world. So I'll continue digging around the software. I'll report back to you guys in the next day or two, tell you how the battery is doing, the performance, there's any bugs, any issues, or any updates that I may have to share with you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.